be eating a pencil in the video this time. What does LGBTQIA plus even mean? As a member of my high school's GSA club, I have heard this question many times. The reason that this question is so commonly asked, asked is because a lot of people are uninformed about the topic, and this can lead to a lack of empathy from people about the LGBTQIA plus community. Today I will be defi defining each of the terms and, expla and explaining what they all are. Um, firstly is L, which stands for lesbian. A lesbian is a woman who likes women, and in some contexts, a non-man who likes non-men. This is used to be more inclusionary towards people who are non-binary or gender non-conforming. And um, the only qualifications to be a lesbian is just be somebody who does not identify as a man, who likes people who don't identify as men. Um, the second topic is gay. Um, gay is a term often used to refer to somebody, for, to a man who likes men, or somebody who is gender non-conforming, who likes pe other people who are gender non-conforming, as long as they are, are identifying as a woman. Um, gay is also a term that's often used to define the entire LGBTQIA plus community. So in contexts like where you might hear a gay-straight alliance, or you might hear a somebody who identifies as a girl saying that they're so gay, this is also just to refer to the entire LGBTQIA plus community rather than just men who like men. Um, the third topic is bisexual. Um, bisexuality is the attraction to two or more genders um, that, and in most contexts, refer to somebody who is attracted to their own and a different gender, though any two genders or more is bisexuality still. Um, they could, like for example, like with non-binary people, if somebody has an attraction to non-binary people and the opposite gender, that still could be considered bisexual. Um, some examples of bisexuality that fall under the bisexual umbrella is pansexuality, polysexuality, and omnisexuality. Um, the fourth topic is transgender. Transgender is when you identify as a gender that you were not born as. Um, most In most contexts, this is used to refer to somebody who identifies as a male that, that was born female or somebody who was born male and identifies as female. Um, this term does not is not exclusive to those people though, and this could also be anybody who is gender non-conforming and the only qualification to be transgender is to identify as a gender that you were not born as. Um, the next term is queer, and according to the Human right, Rights Organization, queer means a term people often use to express a spectrum of identities and orientations that are counter to the mainstream. Queer is often used as a catch-all to include many people, including those who do not identify as exclusively straight and or folks who have non-binary or gender expansive identities. This term was previously used as a slur, but has been reclaimed by many parts of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, the next term is I, which stands for intersex. Intersex is a, intersex means to have reproductive organs that do not correlate with what you were with the gender you were assigned at birth. Um, and according to the Center for American Progress, approximately 1.7% of Americans are intersex. The final letter is A, and the A stands for asexuality. Um, asexuality is a term that refers, that refers to anybody that has a less than common sexual attraction to people. Um, this is an umbrella term that is often used to define anybody that has less, so for instance, demisexual or gray, sexual, gray sexuality are both things that could fall under an, um, an asexual umbrella. Um, a lot of the time when referring to somebody who has the common um, 
sexual like orientation that will be referred to as an as allosexual and this makes up for most of the population um, a term that often is associated with asexuality is, aro is aromantic. Aromantic means to have a less than normal romantic attraction. Um, and this is also an umbrella for many other terms. Um, the final thing is the plus. The plus indicates everything that does not fall under the parts of the acronym that are there right now under the LGBTQIA+. Plus. The plus is meant to give them representation as well. In conclusion, um, being LGBTQIA+, plus, the term means lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, asexual, and many more, and it's not a complicated thing to understand. Thank you.